Cancer, welcome. Vince here for 7D Tarot. Today I'm going to pull advice from Spirit for you. Now this is a general reading. If it resonates, like, share, subscribe. Really helps the channel grow and I truly appreciate it. Now Cancer, if you're interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the information you need is in the description box below. And be sure to check out your sun, moon, and rising signs as well for even more clarity on your situation. And Cancer, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her information in the description box. She caters towards empaths and she provides a totally fresh perspective. Check her out. Now let's dive right in Cancer and see what messages Spirit has for you. Eight of Cups, Six of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. So someone who's charismatic, ambitious, and a go-getter, someone who marches to the beat of their own drum is entering your life. And it seems like you might meet each other while you're on vacation, traveling, or out and about, but it's definitely an outdoor presence or an environment where you're not you know, accustomed to. It's a new environment. And right now, there's definitely a new energy of love heading your way, but you have to walk away from something that's held you back in the past to let this move forward. But whoever this is, that Knight of Wands energy, they are very bold. They're very ambitious. They don't take no for an answer. And right now you're definitely meeting them with that Eight of Wands, clear skies ahead, somewhere where you're not usually going to all the time. It could be a vacation, it could be a wedding, but it's somewhere out and about. And right now, Spirit's telling you victory is close by for you, but we have to move on from the past, Cancer. Whatever's holding you back, whatever's going on, whether you're currently in a relationship and you feel like you cannot no longer, you know, continue, or whether you feel like, you know, your, your, you know, your previous relationship was holding you back, this energy has to be moved because energy is never created, destroyed. You have to move it because you have to feel your heart full of love and when I say love I don't necessarily mean romance but I mean humor joy abundance you need to fill it full of um, happiness so your aura is strong when your aura is strong that is why they're attracted to you cancer that's where your powers come from this person definitely feels your vibration and spirits drawing you guys together because your aura your chi your power your soul is emitting this vibration my sister my brother remember who you are you are almighty and powerful you are so source energy, believe in yourself, and let go of anything that held you back in the past, because from what I see here, it is burdening you. Ten of Wands, the Chariot, the Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, whoever it was in the past that made you feel powerless, you're still giving them energy, so you're feeling taxed from it. You need to move on, you need to put your blinders on and focus and let go of this energy, because this energy of the Emperor, whoever this is, is taxing you, Ten of Wands, this is where the burden comes from. And this energy is just holding you back. This has you feeling as if you can no longer move forward, and you don't need that. When you give your power away, which is your awareness away, you're lowering your vibrational shield, therefore you're less magnetic. And that's what it comes down to, is being magnetic, drawing love into your life. Because from what I see here, why this person is so attracted to you is because your aura is so strong, because you don't take no for an answer, because you put your blinders on and you focus, and this is what's happening. And right now, this person wants to enter your life, and the only thing holding it back is the energy of you know doubt or uncertainty, because that is something that, you know, that's one thing that we can't control. Spirit wants to provide us everything we want in life, abundance, right? It is your birthright to be rich, happy, wealthy, and with your soulmate, but it's hard for spirit to do that when, you know, uh, when we're sending off a vibration that is uncertain. It's very, very, you know, uh, confusing, you can say. It's like basically like ordering something and then canceling it, ordering it, canceling it, ordering it, canceling it, because you're not sure whether or not you want it, you know? All right, now you got the Six of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. Look for synchronicities. Right now, the moment you move on to greener pastures, you will find the independence, the financial independence and stability that you're looking for. Because I can see here that you've put a lot of time into your business or your career or your work. And right now, you feel like it's not paying out. It's not paying the dividends it should. And there's uncertainty and there's fear. And this fear, is causing you to not only lower your vibrations, but it's causing doubt and your love life and your work life are interconnected, right? Basically, uh, resist anything, resist everything. So if you're resisting, you know, the flow of money from entering your life, you're resisting love from entering your life. And I see here that you may also be currently in a relationship where the finances are kind of intertwined and this is causing trouble. So the best thing for us to do right now is move on. The best thing for us to do right now is let go of this energy of doubt. Instead 
instead understand that the moment you do move on to greener pastures, that's when everything you're looking for comes your way. Six of Pentacles, that's when the balance, that's when my sister, my brother, you get exactly what you deserve. And at the end of the day, abundance is what you deserve. This is your birthright. You are not lucky to have this. This is what spirit wants for you. And this is coming your way. You just got to be ready for it, right? You just have to be ready for it. Now you got the tower, three of wands, the three of pentacles, look for synchronies, and the three of cups. Wow, the tower, three of wands, three of pentacles, and the three of cups. This is exactly the angel numbers. This is exactly the synchronicities spirit speaks of, right? Your, your angels can't pick up the phone and call you and be like, cancer, do this, do that. But they can drop hints and clues. What are they saying right now? They're saying right now, in order for your ships to come in, three of pentacles, you have to let go and move on from whatever vibration that you have, you're holding on to in the past, that three of cups, whoever this is. And therefore then, because you've moved on to three of pentacles, you will be able to network and provide new energy into your life. So what does that mean? There is someone here that you still have an energetic, energetic connection with that is, you know, you guys had a falling out with. It seems like there was, you know, some sort of energy that it didn't go so smooth. And right now it is still lingering in your subconscious. This is causing you doubt. This is causing you, you know, a shock to your system every time you think about it. And this is why it's not exactly unfolding organically for you because this is deep down in your subconscious, which is your shadows. Those shadows have to get brought to light. The only way you can do so is meditation, is by slowing things down. When you stop thinking, that's when you can actually start thinking, if that makes sense, right? When you are trying to reprogram your subconscious, you can only do it when you 100% let go. When you're not thinking of your cell phone, when you're not thinking of your, your, your spouse, when you're not thinking of food, when you're not thinking of anything, that's where meditation comes in. Then you can actually reprogram your subconscious. Any other way, it's not gonna work, right? Just check out Dr. Joe Dispenza, he'll explain everything in detail, but it's just, it's just not gonna work. So you have to basically, let go to receive, right? Let go to receive. Now you got the lover's card, queen of pentacles, the devil and the knight of pentacles. This is why they are in love with you is because you have that beautiful, powerful queen of pentacles energy. That is why everyone is drawn to you. You are nurturing, grounded. You are loving. You are magnetic. That is exactly what this person wants from you. And this is exactly what spirit wants you to know is that you have to really be your genuine, authentic self for this person to get drawn to you at the end of the day. Because if you have any doubt, the devil, if you have your ego dictating your vibration, it is hard to get grounded, right? And that's the last thing you're looking for. You do not want your, your ego, which is fear, uh, sabotaging your vibrations. And this is something that we all go through, right? Again, we're human, we have human experiences, human filters, but at the end of the day, we wanna make sure we're our best. We wanna make sure we're strong. My sister, my brother, we wanna make sure this person feels your vibrations and they immediately you know, are drawn to it. The way they can do that is by filling your heart full of love, abundance, happiness, and joy, and not letting any sort of you know, past uh, 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 energies that may not have gone so smoothly get carried over to your new energy of the present moment, because the present moment Moment is exactly what is 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 helping you get out of this situation and look at this your guides love you so much right ten of cups it goes to show that this person really feels like they can depend on you they can lean on you and this is beautiful energy because you are beautiful you are almighty you are strong and you are someone who doesn't take no for an answer and this is exactly what spirit wants remember the synchronicities ten of cups next to the ten of pentacles wow seven of cups and the fool so what is spirit saying, I'll, I'll bring this back up. The Spirit's saying right now, the abundance that you seek, your finances and your, your love life are connected. There are opportunities coming your way for both seven of cups, but you have to take the leap of faith, the fool, to make this happen. And that's what it comes down to. When when the, your boss approaches you and says, hey, there's a business trip, or when, you're, when your friend says, hey, do you wanna go You know, check this out, check that out, do you wanna come here, do you wanna go there, do you wanna try something new? Now's the time to say yes to everything. Don't say no to nothing. Just dive in with both feet and just really surrender. Surrender to the, the process, surrender to, to, to the joy, the abundance, the happiness, the, really the, the pleasure that, that, that comes with not knowing. You know, Don't fear uncertainty, welcome it instead. And this is exactly what we need right now for you to be successful. 
cancer. Remember who you are. You're almighty, you're powerful, you are the best cancer. You don't take no for an answer. This is why this person is drawn to you. You have that beautiful knight of wands surge within you. Believe in yourself, let your aura shine. Do not dim your light to people please others. Let your aura shine. Be your genuine, authentic self. Let love come to you because you are magnetic. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough, and I cannot wait to your next reading. Until then, I'll say bye, but we'll chat soon.